cool. This will be very, very yeah. close. All right, so I didn't have time the last few days to film this. Yeah, quick tutorial Tuesday. So I just had in mind, what can we talk about? And as you can see, my speed ramps, they have been changing lately. And the truth is, I need to hurry up because I really need to edit this video really, really quick. You are lucky because I've got a new reel in the pipeline. Yeah, and I thought I can take you a bit along with that and show you guys how I managed to yeah change my speed ramp style to make smooth looking awesome beautiful speed ramps like you've seen on yeah social media and all that stuff I know I've already made a speed ramp tutorial for Premiere Pro this will be a bit different because we will be talking about speed ramps in After Effects and yeah this will be a quick tutorial Tuesday so so we already have Tuesday and I really, really need to hurry up because I need to edit this video. So you can guys add smooth looking, really, really smooth looking speed ramps like this in your next videos, in your next car reels or whatever. So I think making speed ramps in After Effects is the better way of making speed ramps. And they are pretty easy. I will show you one way how to do it. So set the timer two minutes from now all right so we have this beautiful clip here of the m3 e92 i will just quickly mute it because yeah we don't want any sound basically what i do is i yeah stabilize it before i add some speed ramps this is something that you will need to do because otherwise you will get some strange looking speed ramps so this is the video i'm working on there are a lot of speed ramps going on yeah of course, I will add another speed ramp as a transition. And everything I look for is time remapping. I just drag it on there. I will open up the effects, time remapping. Click the stopwatch, type in about 700%. I move forward a few frames, type in 50%. And now we already have a nice looking speed ramp, as you can see. All right. so let's take this speed ramp to a new level which is pretty easy we will go down here to motion blur turn it on manually type in 360 and something like 20. i found out this is yeah well the best to go with after we've done that we can click on here to open a graph click on the speed ramps and now you will see the graph and the speed ramp what we have to do is we have to smooth it out so <clears throat> we just easy ease them this is the best part of speed ramping in after effects you will have the control of how the slider will look like so this is how you can smooth in and smooth out your speed ramps in after effects which is pretty pretty easy this is something that we have now that was easy, that was fast. Hopefully I managed it in two minutes, but I think yes. So I hope you like this little two, uh, quick tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused because of another YouTuber who does similar stuff. All right, hopefully you did enjoy it. I would really appreciate if you guys would leave a subscription and if you would leave a thumbs up and if you would stay tuned, hit the bell to not miss another tutorial on how you can pimp your car edits and make them even look more awesome. All right, and with that, I will see you in the next video. Next video, we will be talking about how to get smooth looking footage handheld with using colorless brows. I already had yeah, I already made made a video about Catalyst Brows and in the next video we will be talking about how you can use it and how it works. So until next video and I really really hope you enjoyed it and I think those speedgrams are just insane.